What is up, guys? Trash Cold here. I'm gonna be making a character really quick, but I gotta show you guys this awesome freaking thing. All right, check these out. You remember my last video? I had these uh, freaking you know signets right here. All right, check this out. I bought them for an average of about 170 a piece. Look at that. They're like 10 silver a pop now. And um, I was looking at the graph, and they actually got up to like 15 last night. But I was at my girlfriend's place and didn't see it, which is kind of a bummer. But hey, whatever. It's all good. But yeah, they're like. 10 gold right now and I mean like check this out if I was to whoops I go back in here now if I was to sell all of these right now like look at this 87 gold 99 silver 488 to put up so it would be 83 and you know, 11 and I bought 10 of I bought one for free and then I got the others for like about one silver or one gold 80 silver so I mean I made a profit of what like 70 gold profit of 70 gold I mean that is freaking absurd and freaking awesome it did get all the way up to 15 though I mean heck if I would have got it at 15 look at that 141 gold if I would have caught it or I mean hell if it even gets up to 13 again 123 gold I would have profited 100 gold so I'm pretty stoked about that guys and I decided that I'm going to make another character and uh, I'm gonna level them up to 30 and I'm gonna see what those are at or if those get another awesome peak then I am going to um, sell them. But I'm going to get to level 30 or 40, and I'm just going to craft my way up. But anyways, guys, right here, I am making myself a new character. So let's see here. Um, I think I'll be human. I mean, I don't really like, I mean, the, you know, the Char and the Norn are awesome. I don't like playing really, really big characters because my end game, guys, is World v. World. So, I mean, if I'm huge and bulky and stuff, I'm more likely to get hit and downed. Um, I did play a Savari. They were all right. I didn't really like them. Uh, but I like humans and I like uh, a Sura. And I'm having a really tough decision if I want to play a human or if I want to play an Asura. Um, I have played the Asura a lot more. Like, you know, you just saw my Guardian. He's an Asura. And their storyline and stuff is pretty cool. Same thing with human, though. Um, it's a tough decision. Tough, tough very tough decision. I think I'm going to make it a syrup. I like being an awesome little person. I mean, I don't really care about looks either. I mean, look at that. He looks fugly right now, but I'll make a thief, guys. So, I want small, all the way small. I want to make him bulky. No, I'll make him bulky. Make him like... Let's see. Make him like average. I can make a black guy. I'm not black. I don't know. It feels kind of weird. I can change my spots. What is this? Oh, skin markings. They're not really doing anything. Head options. Um, let's see. Is there like a random button? No? Lame. Okay. Uh, I like this hair. This hair's awesome. Okay, face. Um, no, no, definitely not. That'd be like constipated or something. No, no. No, um, I think he's like a like part girl. I think it's either maybe this one or this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think this one looks the best. Ears? I don't like huge ears. I think that'll work. Face details. And I am not going to sit here because I am going to be wearing armor, so it really doesn't matter. You check him out. I'm a, I'm a little badass. Just make him like all white. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I'm just gonna make him all white for the sake for you guys don't have to sit here and watch this. I'm just gonna go really quick through this. It really, honestly, doesn't matter. I'm gonna be buying dyes anyway. Uh, my line of work is important to me. I understand the power of mini uh, termination subterfuge. Okay, so I see what it does. It changes everything. So I could either, you know, go... I mean, business. I'm the bruiser. I'm the muscle. I'm not really that. My talons in the arts of stealth infiltration escape. I do not draw attention to myself. To guard my identity, I hide my face behind a mask of darkness. A mask draws attention and an uncovered face allows people to identify. I prefer a more subtle... Uh, nah, nah, drawn hood lets me blend into the crowd and no one else was known. There. Yeah, I'm an assassin. Um, I'll have charm. You know, I'm gonna have a assassin with charm. I'm the member of college. Um, 
think I'm going to do cybernetics. My first invention. Um, what did I do last time? I think I did the infinity ball. Yeah, I did the infinity ball last time. I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do the converter. Uh, let's see, what else? What do we got here? I'm going to have this dude. He's kind of cool. Oh, crap, a name. Um, Alright, guys, I'm going to stop the video really quick and think of a freaking name. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I just deleted one of my other characters, uh, that 32 you guys probably saw. I just deleted it, so I got the name. So I'm just going pure ice cold. And uh, so, yeah, I also changed my microphone. I noticed it was kind of low, so hopefully it's a little bit better. Um, I am a sword. Yeah, I'll shut up so you guys can uh, hear this. Personified genius. My ancestors were driven from the heart of the earth, forced to live in this bright, wide world. Of course, we've excelled. We exceed expectations in everything we do. With Gollum and Gate and Arcane Crystal, we have asserted our supremacy in this land and made it our own. We will not move another inch. Not for dragons, not for anyone. By studying the eternal alchemy, we can see that all things are connected. I am a scholar of interconnectivity and relationships. I belong to the College of Synergetics. Synergetics crews delve into the nature of fundamental coherence that many overlook and few exploit. My success positively impacts my crew, who then gratefully assist me, and I succeed even more brilliantly. Reciprocity. I've just been informed that defective golems, not mine of course, are causing havoc out in the jungle. Whatever the imbeciles outside the city have broken, I'll fix, and make my name doing so. In time, I will map the fabric of connectivity that weaves us all together. This is my story. Alrighty, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed that little uh, bit. It's cool. It's cool. It'll change. It all. It uh. It all changes on what you kind of pick there in the options, and uh. Kind of impacts your story, which is really cool. But um, the Asura have a pretty cool story, but they all kind of enfold on one. Um, what did I got here? What is this? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the Heroes Band because I got the game when it came out. Shoo, that's a nice little awesome thing to have in the beginning. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. Gotta get to the stupid little tutorial area. So, how does this work? I've never been a. Before. Shadow step to your phone, steal from me. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm totally a noob right now, guys. I've never played a thief, so this should be pretty cool. It's pure chaos out here. Unacceptable. What's going on? Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them, and by someone, she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely, by the way. If it is the inquest, she's going to need help. Where can I find her? At the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us. Not for long. I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. Yeah, also guys, um... In the comments, let me know if you guys want to hear the quests, or I mean, if you just want me to skip them, it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, I kind of know 
everything already. So if you you know you just want to skip them, let me know. Let's see what kind of attacks I do. Yeah, die. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what the hell is my M4? Or button is that? Do I not have it as a button? Oh, okay. All right, I found it. I'll have to go through and change it because I have so many freaking buttons on like everything else. Heart thing. What is this? What does this do? Oh God! There's a whole bunch of attacks. Oh, I just boom that dude. So yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Let's attack this little dude. Ah! Stupid thing. Where am I going? I'm going over here. Yeah, and I'll probably go to uh, the Divinity's Reach when I'm out of this little tutorial area. Because I like Divinity's Reach, I like to level up in the human area, then I like go into the Norn area, where the Ma's at and stuff. And I'll show you guys what all that is. I mean, I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I don't really think I'm going to record every second of gameplay that I do. But I mean, I might record like the big areas, I might record like the Ma, I might record some like quests and just running around doing stuff. But I'll let you guys know kind of where I'm leveling. All right, yeah. So this is the this, this is just a little quest thing, kind of lets you know how you play. And right here's like the boss. There, I mean, it takes two seconds to get to the boss in like every continent, I guess, every race, whatever you want to say. If they to come, are they coming? Come on now. Blah 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 blah. Why don't all of right, here we go. Give these folks a proper welcome. Oh, no, I'm gonna try this stealing from somebody. Let's see what this does. Come here. Okay, so I stole that from that person. Now what does it do? Throw it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, that's gonna take some getting used to. It. I feel like that's gonna be awesomely strong later on in game. They don't even do anything. I know it's supposed to be E, but like, whoa! I'm all over this dude. Whoa! That is not overpower. What's wait? What's my three do? Yeah. Oh god. Is it just me or is these really strong? Like I'll two and then I'll three? Alright, alright. All right. All right. It's gonna take some getting used to. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. Died. Well, how far is my jump? That's not that's pretty it's pretty far. Yeah. Oh. I didn't target. I wonder if I should turn that back on in my options. In the options you can have it where it doesn't target anybody. And I had it on my elementalist because it worked awesome for the elementalist, but I think it's a thief. It might not. Um, I don't know. Because the elementalist you use like ride the lightning and stuff to get away and you don't and jumping, you know, not jumping to random animals is kind of nice so I turned that off and it made it a lot nicer. That dude just got owned by that thing. Activation sequence the thing is Mr. What? Oh, that's right. His name is Mr. Sparkles. That thing is like, these two people are here with you like all the time throughout your story. You got like your only, you know, little story mode. For those of you who haven't played this game, and it is, it's pretty cool. I, I have actually never beat it. Oh man, they got this dude up. Oh well, Mr. Sparkles is gonna come fuck him up. <laughs> All right, done. Okay, here we go. Here comes the here comes the boss boss. Looks like the guest of honor has arrived. Let's take it down. It's freaking weird, right? I have no idea what that thing is. But we're gonna mess it up. Well, if I could steal from it. Not my steal from it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Target. Ah, it hit me. It hurt. It really did. Jump. Oh, get away. Oh. Oh, okay, so my three implies bleeds too. What does this do? Spin in place in a nearby foes. Each hit causes bleed. Nice. Okay. Let's get this up. Watch this thing explode. He's like, oh man. My guts are falling out, and he's done. I think I just got squished. And now we are in the actual world world. I'll let this uh, talk.
Hey, it's you again. I see you survived with your epidermis intact. Of course. It takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. Heh, <laughs> modest too. Very cool. We are in a real world now, guys. Uh, ooh, do I want to do dagger pistol or dagger dagger? Um, I think I want to do dagger pistol at the start because I've heard that's the best for PVE and leveling and stuff like that. Cool, I got a bag. Put my pistol on. What do I have in the black lion? Oh, cool, I got two gold. I can put it on this character. That'll help out a lot. Alrighty. Welcome to Metrica Province. You'll find private laboratories all over where our crews work on dangerous research. And we pay the yeah, price. I'm just gonna for skip this kind of stuff. I mean it's not important at all. He's kinda telling you where everything is. And I think I'm gonna go to Divinity's Reach. So I guess I'll explain this to you guys who've never played this or have you know no idea. You can the each race has its own capital, and right now we're kinda just out of the capital, but you go through this gate, and this takes you to Radisson, and you know, humans have divinities reach, you know, etc, etc, all these major cities, and this is Radisson, and is what's cool is you can go here, and see these purple gates, they take you areas, but this one right here, is the one you want, this one right here is the one you want, and you, I think this is the one you want, maybe, hang on, let me, let me make sure, <laughs> If there's more over here, I think this one might be where I need to be. Just a second, you know? I'm, I, I totally think I know what I'm talking about, but maybe not. We'll see, but anyways, I'll talk about the city. See, I see. It's pretty sweet. It's a whole bunch of cubes and stuff everywhere. Which is pretty cool. And let's see here. Nope, not what I need. No, go away. Nope, not what I need. Okay, not what I need. <laughs> what the F? Okay, well, I guess I'll bring out the map and show you guys all of this. Um, but it doesn't even tell me what the names are. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for Lion's Arch. Why am I having such a hard time finding this? It's, it's got to be one of these. It's probably this one over here by itself. Okay. Whatever. We'll go find it. We'll go on a hunt. Check this place out. So you got your repair dude over here. You got your armor. So you got your tier 2 armor. You can come in here and buy your armor. It's pretty cool. I can't use any of it. I can use this stuff. See? But you can also preview. So, I mean, you can see. I'll show you what level 2 armor looks like. It takes like 2 seconds. Let's put all this on. And bam. That's what I'd look like. Right now. I honestly don't really like it. I mean, what is with the eye thing? Like, the thing is freaking weird looking. I'll show you guys, um... I like COF. It's a dungeon. And, I mean, pretty... I mean, I think, like, everyone's kind of using it right now. But, I mean, whatever. It looks cool. But you just do the dungeon and get tokens and then trade it in and get armor. And there's, like, eight dungeons, I think. Don't quote me on that. It better not be this one that's blocked off. There we go. Lion's Arch, guys. So this is the one you need. <laughs> go here. And you want to find... You want to go to Lion's Arch. And Lion's Arch is the main city across all areas. And I'll show you how to get to, like, each little area. But Lion's Arch is the main place you want to go. And I probably could have done that a little bit easier. You could also do it by going up to here. World v. World. Go to Interworld, Internal Battlegrounds, and you could just went to the portal right there and went into Lion's Arch, which would probably have been 20 times easier. But this place brings you right to this area, and this is what you're looking for. So if you do the World v. World, you're going to come... Uh, let's see here. I'll walk out here so I can actually see. You're going to come from this way. You're going to come down this. You're going to spawn up here, and you're going to just run straight, and you'll come down here, and you're going to look for this. Come to this bridge, and right here is all the portals to the main area. And to make it easy for you, right here, Norn area, because the Norns are standing out front. Over here is Char. Up there is Slavari. 
And then, obviously, this is one we just came out of. This is Sura area. And then we go over here, and we're going to go to the humans. So they just look for the character standing in front in Divinity's Reach. And this is their main huge freaking city. And yeah, if you guys see my mouse disappear like that, um, I have another, I have two monitors. I have another monitor over here that has, you know, like my email and stuff like that going on. And uh, I also have a, a flipping site that has my insignias on it. You saw from the beginning of this. So I can monitor how much, you know, they're going for. But anyways, let's see here. We're going to get this little teleporter because it is awesome and right next to the gate. Okay, let's see here. Map. We need to go straight down. So turn my character and we're going to go straight down. And we're going to get the heck out of here. Do, do, do. Yeah, Divinity's Reach is awesome. I like it. I like the area outside. I mean, you come out here and you can level up. And... Then I go over, I think it's in this area, I just want to say it's like right here. And I go to Ma. I like the Norn area too. I like Divinities till probably like level 10. And then I go to the Norn area and level up to like 18. And then I go to, well, I don't know if I can find it on the map right now. Um, I think it's like up in here, I think. Not 100%, I'll have to show you guys when I'm at there. I don't know where it is on the map from off the top of my head. But then I go there and I level up to like 26, 30-ish. But then usually I've done crafting. So I mean that's how I've leveled. Crafting is your best bet. If you go back, if you go and look at my uh, other video about gold making, you know, money making and stuff, I have a, a link in that description and a little bit of talking about it. Um, I have the link and anyways it's a crafting link and it, show, and it tells you what's the best way to craft right now and get to you know 400 crafting the quickest but anyways what i'm getting at is when you max a crafting skill and I, I think the cheapest ones are like six or eight gold about that and then they go up to like 15 for armor and 14 for weapon last i looked anyways when you max it you jump up 10 levels per one so i mean like you know like me i have the awesome flip that i did i you know put like 14 gold into those insignias and then now they're selling for over 70 gold you know for all of them so i'm like well damn i have like 40 gold so i mean i just get like 20 or 30 gold i can max out four of them and i got 40 levels so i mean i usually just get to that area and then i'm good to go i would take that gold out but just in case if there's a hike my other character is going to need it to sell those things that i need what is this person doing oh see that's an engineer engineer is pretty cool too but i mean they're not you know nobody plays engineers it's crazy over here and get this and then all you do is just quest guys and you just run around this area you go over here do this little questing area oh look they're getting attacked right now I'll actually do this and I'll probably end the video there's actually a lot of people here right now I remember when this game came out this was insane this was like top notch area everyone was here this was the place to be well, there's still all those people down there there's people up here I came just in the time to get the freaking you know get a bronze but yeah you just sit here and do the quests I mean I'll show you the kind of the route that I do so you start here obviously whoops I didn't mean to do that I hit the wrong button I hit the wrong button again oh god I'm having malfunctions anyway I meant to hit shift and not enter so you're gonna come here and you're gonna start obviously at this one and then you're gonna come down here there's gonna be another heart over here and there's a bandit camp right here go in and complete your you know what you need to do come over here then there's another one with spiders in these trees you do this one and then there's gonna be two more in this area in these two areas right here I complete them ones right here just uh, un unlocking cages and killing stuff and the other ones up here just killing um, I forgot what they're called, gargoyle looking things, banshees or some crap. I don't know, you kill them, and then um, come back over here, and there'll be more quests right here, and you defend these these things, you know, obviously you see these things. You defend these from bandits, and then you come over this way, come out here, and this is where you level up, you know, pretty well. You're probably like maybe eight or nine at this point, I think, don't quote me on that, you might be higher or lower. But it gives you an idea you're going to be in this area, level up here, come down this way, 
This is just another little town. You're going to cross a bridge right here, and there's another little teleporter right here. Anyways, you're going to come here, run down this way. There's caravans, there's little events. Do all these little events. Come over this way. Come out this way. Um, there's a farm, I think, like right in this area. You're going to do the farm um, event, like guarding it and stuff. There's bandits all over the place. Getting the skill points is nice, but they're really hard by yourself if you don't have crew. And then basically you're going to find yourself coming to this town and you're going to do a couple really easy quests, like one easy quest right here. And this is usually where I'm done. I'm usually about, I like to be, I'm probably like 14 or 13 at this point. And then that's when I'll teleport back to Divinity's Reach. And then I will teleport over here to their actual mountain area. So... You know, I'll teleport over to this area. And then that's when I'll run Ma. And so, I mean, they're, I don't know where their home's at right now. I thought it would show me. But I guess it doesn't. That's kind of weird. Alright, well, whatever. Anyways, yeah, you go here and you, then you just go to the Norn area. And then I want to say the town's like right in this area. And then you're gonna, just going to run to the end and you're going to come through a portal. And it's going to go down this way, I think. Or it's going to be this way. I'm not 100% right now, guys. I don't want the town. But anyways, you're going to come to a little fork in the road. And you can either go down, and it's going to tell you, you know, the, all the lower levels. But you're going to go up to the little um, cavern area. You're going to see, like, a little cliff. And you're going to go through that way. And there's going to be, like, level, you know, 13s and stuff. And you come there, do the quests. And then you'll see um, on the side of your, you know, map right here, you'll see, like, the maw is quiet or something. Or it's running. And then if you see it running, you're going to want to um, do it. Definitely do the maw. It gives you a daily chest. It gives you a bunch of good items. And that's what you want to do. And that's probably going to get you to about... That'll probably get you good to about almost level 20. And then from there, I will probably have another video out. And I, oh, I should have another video. I'll hopefully get to that maybe today or tomorrow. And I'll get the other video out and show you guys where to go to get to like level 25 or 26. And then I might take it into crafting. And the best ways to make money at a lower level, um, oh man, what are good ways to make money at lower levels? Um, I mean, you could test your luck, because I know, I know, um, it costs a lot for, you know, crafting, but, I mean, you could always, you could always buy, I mean, if you have 10 bucks laying around and you're like, hey, you know, I want to follow my strategy and get to 80, because I buy my guardian. I made my guardian and got my guardian to level 80 in like three days. I mean, I got him. I made him Friday when I got home from work, and I got him to level 80 like Sunday night, and went to bed kind of late. Woke up and had my 80 all week. So I mean, I did it in three days. I mean, if you want to follow my kind of strategy, you got 10 bucks, just dump it in the game. I mean, buy some gems, trade the gems. You know, you can. I mean, obviously you can trade gems for gold right here. And I mean, hey, if you have, I think they give you 800. I uh, won't tell me what they have, but for 100, you'll get 2 gold, 24 copper. And I mean, hey, if you, you know, go on ahead, put dump 800 in it, get some money, and then just buy what you need. Or, I mean, but if you don't have any money to do that, um, I guess you could always try to buy um, unidentified dyes. I mean, they're kind of expensive. They're like 17 or 18, but then, I mean, you can get dyes. And I mean, hey, if you get lucky, I mean, you can get, well, some of these are stupid expensive. You can get an abyss die, that's 21 gold. I mean, hell, that'll get you like two or three craftings out of the way and done. I mean, you get to save up money. But I mean, otherwise, just, you know, just run the game. I mean, if you can't do the crafting, then just, you know, look at these little areas. It tells you, you know, 35, 45, 25, 35, you know, 15, 25. It tells you the areas where you should be leveling. You know, 1 through 17, 15 to 25, 15, 25. It tells you on here where to level and just do that if you don't got the money or you know you're not in a necessarily a hurry to get to 80 then just do that you know 70 to 80 area 60 to 70 35 45 which is probably the best way to do it because i mean then you'll get the map but um you know 40 50 right here you mean it, you get the idea but i mean hey it's probably it might be the best way to do it you get most of the map done you'll you'll learn probably a little bit more about the game but i mean i'm i have the extra money i want level 80 i already have two level 80s so, I mean, I just want to hit level 80. So, that's probably what I'm going to do. 
But I will definitely film it. And I mean, hey, if you get some money, I'll show you how to do it. And we will be good to go. I feel like this video has gone on a really long time. And if you're still watching, thanks a lot. That, uh, that means a lot. You know, give the video a like and stuff. And I will be keep coming out with content. And I'm hopefully going to do some uh, Call of Duty stuff here too. Because I know some of my subscribers are in the Call of Duty thing. So hopefully I'll start doing the Call of Duty thing here again. But uh, anyways, till then guys, I'm going to end it. And I am just going to be doing pretty much everything I just told you. I'm just going to be doing these little quests and leveling up. Alrighty guys, talk to you later.